Yo, yo, yo. What's good? Welcome to another exciting episode of A Follow from Burners. Host, yours truly, Raider Racco himself. Do me a favor. Go ahead, if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, go ahead and uh, subscribe to the channel. Uh, please uh, like and share the videos, comment, and uh, yes. Please subscribe to the channel. We're trying to get up to 700. We only got about like 19 left to go. Let's see if we can do that uh, this weekend. Uh, all right, coming from training camp. Coming to you from training camp. The Raiders have an off day today, so I'm like, you know, day off, I'm on. This is perfect. Talk about uh, so far, first like, Eight days they've been going at it, seven days, two days with pads. Uh, first of all, the quarterback situation, the duel, the, the duel battle. My understanding, Minshew has taken a slight lead, very slight. And it's because he is not back there holding on to the rock like Aiden O'Connell is doing. So he's making moves inside the pocket. He's taking little four or five yard runs. He's being a little more creative and he had a better day yesterday. So that was the first time either quarterback could say that they had the better day, right? So Minshew takes the slight lead. I know that might upset some folks, but I've said before several times, I think Minshew was going to be the guy. And I want Minshew to be the guy. I think he gives us the best chance to win more games. Uh, the second battle at cornerback. From my understanding, Ja'Cory and Bennett's been getting called for a few DPIs. Three, four of them over the last few days. But also understand that some of them is ticky-tack. And um, we're not there to see that happen. But uh, from what I understand, some of them suspect calls. One of them is on Tay. Uh, so Bennett has been aggressive. They say he looks a lot more confident. But he has been getting called for the DPIs, which last year, that's what he was doing as well. He got a couple DPIs where he was panicking. I showed a video. Panic move right there and got called for the DPI when he was actually in good position already. Uh, so, you know, I don't want to say he's falling in back in the bad habits, but it's tough to break those type of things, man, when you're a DB and you feel like you beat. But he just got to learn in the league, to, you know, not to grab the guy and play the football and then make the tackle if, if you can. Uh, so... No word on that yet from the cornerback room, from uh, Coach Ricky Manning Jr. yet on who's going to be the likely starter there. Uh, we know that Jack is going to start on the one side. So we need to, and we know that Nate is going to be the slot guy. So we need that one last guy to solidify the defense. And nothing's happened yet, but. I suspect in the next week or so, um, we'll know something over there on that cornerback position. Now, uh, let's talk about the pup list. Uh, physically unable to perform is Colton Miller, uh, Jackson Powers Johnson, JPJ, the rookie that they drafted from University of Oregon. So, Miller covering from shoulder surgery. Miller, proven veteran in the league. Uh, 
one of your better tackles. We pretty much know what we're getting with Colton Miller. So Colton, we can give a little more leeway to as far as when he's going to be back. We'll know he'll get back in time to get to work in, get in enough shape to be able to play uh, in that game against the Chargers, uh, the first game of the season. But the rookie, Jackson Powers Johnson, has become a concern for me. I don't know. My other Raider fans, I'm a little concerned. Uh, AP, at first they were saying it was a shoulder what was keeping him out because he was practicing in OTAs. They were saying it was a shoulder that he hurt. So then as time went by, you had a couple people say shoulder again, and then somebody say it wasn't a shoulder. They was trying to put the shoulder narrative out there. But AP alluded to perhaps a concussion because he made a Mark about having the sunglasses on and about time to take the sunglasses on and get back to some football. Kind of leads people to believe that it was a concussion issue. So now, let's just go off of that, if it is. We're talking about a, uh, I guess, 44th overall draft pick that Got a concussion in unpadded practice in OTAs that plays offensive line. Not good. You feel me? So, when you go a little bit deeper into that, Paul, um, makes the draft not as successful in my opinion if we got a guy that had a first round grade on him we got him in the second round so we thought we had a steal but come to find out the dude is gonna be injury prone he got hurt in otas a concussion without pads on no bueno man so let's go and even you champ and the scouts so we're gonna keep an eye on that but that you know that bumps the draft down a little bit bowers would really have to be over the top good uh or to, to kind of save this draft class if jackson powers johnson is going to be injury prone uh like it's kind of seeming like he's going to be uh DJ Glaze, they kind of reach for him in the third round anyway. So, you know, it's just, it's just a domino effect of making the draft not as great if JPJ is going to be an injury-prone guy. So we'll keep an eye on that. Hopefully he gets back out there tomorrow. They off right now. Um. So hopefully he can get back out there tomorrow. But, uh, <clears throat> you know, I'm not going to hold you guys. I'm just going to recap. Minshew takes a slight lead. Still no um, definitive answer at corner. JPJ is a concern still being on the pup list. Also, a couple items to mention. Dylan Lowby has looked good. Trey Tucker has had some drops. So we'll check back in in a couple days. Right now, that's what we'll lace you up with here on this Thursday, August 1st, Raiders' first off day of camp. We get back after tomorrow in pad. So that's all I got for you, man. As I always say, just win, baby. Subscribe, like the videos. Just win, baby, and peace.